All right, so today I have a really exciting. I need to put some lip balm. No, 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 no. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I know I look a bit different. It's because I wear glasses now. I told you guys that I need to get glasses, and I definitely needed to. Like, I was squinting twenty four seven, and basically, my eye, my eyesight isn't that bad. I haven't even explained what I'm doing today, but anyways. My left eye is just awful and they corrected that one and I f it, it's just it's the kind of thing like when I put the glasses on my my eyes relax so much and I can feel it and I can already feel like there's less tension on my forehead and on my lids um, so yeah I do need to get them tightened though but what do you guys think about the style? I got two, I got a more square one which is actually kind of heavy and big but it's still it's nice but this one I really like because it's just... I don't know, just round, simple, and very light actually. But I'm gonna have to take them off. I feel naked. But anyways, I'm gonna be reviewing the new Soph collection with Makeup Revolution. She has come out with the Extra Spice palette and three lipsticks which is amazing and I feel like compared to her first palette which to be honest I still kind of use I used it in my previous tutorial um but I feel like when I looked at these colors I connected to it much more like look at that isn't it so pretty I just feel like she did such an amazing job with these colors like that's my favorite color to put on my lids then she's got a beautiful khaki it's just got everything that I could wear and I feel like I can use every single shade in this palette unlike the so the first soap palette so yeah i actually really like this one and i cannot wait to try it i'm gonna quickly jump onto swatches and then we're gonna do a quick eye look This palette is £10 so it's super affordable. You do get like 11 mattes and I believe this one is a matte but it has a slight shimmer to it so it's kind of like in between. And then you have six kind of like metallic shimmery shades. So as always I'm going to start off with my P. Louise eye base. So I'm just applying this all over my lid. I love the fact that she has names on the palette. They definitely... Um, listen to our feedback because one thing you guys i always say that you know when they put the names on a sheet i always use lose the sheet so when you do tutorials and things it's really nice to have the names on them so she definitely has put the names so the first shade i'm going to use is called running late which is this um kind of like orangey burnt orange shade i'm just gonna pack that on all over Just in the crease, that's definitely pigmented. Then I'm gonna use a shade called a Vitamin C. I actually love the name of that shade. But it's this, it's this bright yellow right here. I'm just gonna blend that into the Running Late shade. See, isn't it so much easier to have names because I can actually call them and not look at a piece of paper. I mean, that is just blending so beautifully. I feel like Makeup Revolution have definitely upped their game because a few years ago, I wouldn't have been able to do a look like this with just like Makeup Revolution eyeshadows. 
Okay, I'm gonna use this shade. It's called 21. It's like a super bright shade. I'm just gonna go under the orange. I don't wanna hide that gradient that we created. Okay, you can't say that's not pigmented. They're just applying so nicely. So then I'm gonna take my orange again. Just blend up the edges. The real question is if this brown is going to show up on me like really pigmented as it, as it is in the palette. So this is the shade Cheesecake. It is showing up a little bit but not as dark. I don't know if it's applying like that because the red is underneath and that is a really bright colour. Anyways, I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm just using the shade Dreams right here with my finger. I am going to try it with a brush and wet it and see if it applies any better. Definitely applies better wet. So I'm going to do the other eye and do my base and I'll be right back. I look really washed out right now, I have no idea. But anyways, I'm going to go back onto my lower lash line and what I'm going to really do is use the same shade Vitamin C, like that bright yellow shade, and really buff this on my lower lash line. Then we're going to take that Running Late shade and run it closer to the lash line. Can I also just say that there's no fallout whatsoever from this palette? Like, personally with me, and I'm going in, like, I'm putting the colours in. I'm going to use the shade Lake, which is a beautiful khaki shade. It's a matte. I'm just going to put this on my lower lash line. Okay, that colour is super pigmented. Just gonna flick away any of that yellow fallout. A little bit with the yellow, but that's because I was really packing that on. I'm gonna put LA Sun, I think that's called LA Sun, which is a bright yellow, shimmery, goldy kind of shade. And I'm literally just gonna highlight my inner corner with that. I'm going to use Everyday and Dreams, these two, I'm going to mix the two and make a highlight. Look at that, pretty! I'm going to use some of my Smashbox Prime Water and set my whole face. Laying that all dry, look at that highlight. It's not even like chunky or anything, it's actually really, really pretty. Ooh. Okay, now on to the exciting bit. Okay, gonna go on to the lips. She did come out with three kind of like nude lipsticks. Um, so one's called Cake, Syrup and Fudge. This is what they look like. It's got really cute packaging, like a shiny rose gold lid with her nose. It does have a shiny rose gold lid with her name on it and I don't know if that's her signature and a matte like bottom bit. I think it's just so pretty like on a makeup, if on your makeup vanity this would look super pretty. Um, and what I find so freaking cool is that her name is on there. Look at that. Can you see that? That's so cool. So I'm going to try the first shade and it's called Cake. It's almost like a kind of like mauvey pink, I would say. So that's what cake looks like, and I'm actually not mad at it. It is a little bit light on its own for me, 
but um, it's super pigmented right off the bat like as soon as you swipe it's so pigmented it's more on the creamy side but they're super comfortable to wear and I feel like with a dark pink lip liner I can definitely get away with this like it's a really pretty shade so the next one which I'm really excited about is syrup syrup looks like this it's more of like a taupey brown I would say the swatch of it my skin that's what syrup looks like again it is on the lighter side but again I would definitely wear this with a lip liner look at the highlight what then the final one is like a beautiful chocolatey brown this one's called budge um she definitely catered to like every skin tone and I feel like on like tan to deeper skin tones this would look really really nice so yeah let's try this one I feel like it's lighter than what it looks like in the packaging. Okay, it's definitely like rough application. But if this is not a shade that I'm going to wear every day, then I don't know what it is. Like, look at that. And I feel like it goes so nice with this look. Alright guys, so that's everything from the Soph collection. I am super pleased and I freaking love this palette. Like, I feel like this one and the Tropical Paradise palette by Tammy are like by far my two favourites at the moment. This has more, you guys know I love those yellowy matte shades and I love to wear them in my crease. And these are just exactly what I love in a palette. Um, like if I had a palette, I'd definitely have shades like that in a palette. Do you know what I mean? So I freaking love it. I'm so excited right now. Can I just try my glasses with this makeup on? Mm. It's touching the lens, which is so annoying. It actually works so beautifully, like as a highlight, and it's not appearing like ashy at all. Like I mix the two shades and it just works so nice. Like I'm so pleased. Oh, by the way, I forgot to do a swatch of fudge. I think by far the shade fudge is my favorite. But those are the three colours. That's cake, syrup, fudge. I think that's all I have to say. I actually will give this palette a 10 out of 10. I freaking love it. I've actually met Soph in person and she's so lovely. She's actually a really sweet person. Um, so congratulations to you, Soph. I'm really happy for you. Definitely a big thumbs up from me. I love it. I would definitely recommend it to you guys. If, especially if you have tan skin like me. The colours are just so beautiful, like all of them. So here's just a close-up of the eyeshadow. I did forget to do my post notification shout out at the beginning of the video. So today's one goes to Shuhara Ahmed. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. I really appreciate it. And yeah, I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Love you all. Mm -hmm.